So this question looks like it's going to be a diagram question, just given the, um, the graph here that I have. Looks like I have maybe a sine wave, but let's, let's you know, not speculate too much. Let's look at the actual question. So the question says the equations of the two graphs shown below are, and I'll just write these down again, y1 of t is equal to a1 sine b1 times t. And the other equation is y2 t is equal to a2 cosine b2 t. Where the constants b1 and b2 are both positive real numbers. Okay, so b1 and b2 are greater than 0. Okay, so I see this graph. I can see where the y2 is. I can see where the y1 is. Um, looks like y1 has a wider amplitude. Um, it looks like y2, or so there's, there's some things I can, that I can figure out about this, but let's see what's actually relevant. So the question says, which of the following statements is true of the constants a1 and a2? Well, what does is, what is this a1 and a2 do to our graphs? I kind of alluded to it without even realizing that that's what I was doing. Um, so the, the, the coefficient, right, and you may not remember this from trigonometry class, but the coefficient in front of the sine or the cosine represents the amplitude. The amplitude is just how far away, right, are you going, let's say that zeros are kind of midline here, how high up and how, high, how far down, right? This is our amplitude from a low to a high, right? Like this is, this is the amplitude for that for that wave. So you know, a small amplitude has a smaller distance away from that zero, whereas a large amplitude has a larger distance away from that zero center line. So what do we know? Well, we know that. Uh, y1 is higher than y2. Therefore, a1 must be greater than a2. So let's see where we see that. Well, for choice A, we have that a1 is less than a2, so that's out. For choice B, we have a1 is greater than a2, so that's good, and they're all greater than zero, so that's definitely true. I'll just circle it. I'm not sure if it's the correct answer yet, but more than likely is. And then for C, we have that uh, a1 is less than zero. Well, no, it's not negative, um, which is something I haven't really even addressed, and that's understanding the characteristics of a sine wave and a cosine wave. But, you know, y1 is a sine wave. It goes up from zero, so it's definitely, it's a positive, it's a positive amplitude. And then cosine starts at a high and goes down, which is exactly what it's supposed to do. So it's also positive. So C is not correct. And then D, we have that A1 is less than A2, but we know that that's not the case. So D is out. And with E, we do have that A1 is greater than A2, but we have that A1 is less than zero. And we just showed um, that that is not true. So as predicted, B is the best answer here.